Cesium IUPAC spelling or cesium American spelling is a chemical element with symbol Cs and atomic number 55. It is a soft silvery gold alkali metal with a melting point of 28.5 degrees Celsius .3 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes it one of only 5 elemental metals that are liquid at or near room temperature. Cesium has physical and chemical properties similar to those of rubidium and potassium. The most reactive of all metals, it is pyrophoric and reacts with water even at minus 116 degrees Celsius minus 177 degrees Fahrenheit. It is the least electronegative element, with a value of 0.79 on the Pauling scale. It has only one stable isotope, cesium-133. Cesium is mined mostly from pellucite, while the radioisotopes, especially cesium-137, a fission product, are extracted from waste produced by nuclear reactors. The German chemist Robert Bunsen and physicist Gustav Kirchhoff discovered cesium in 1860 by the newly developed method of flame spectroscopy. The first small-scale applications for cesium were as a «getter» in vacuum tubes and in photoelectric cells. In 1967, acting on Einstein's proof that the speed of light is the most constant dimension in the universe, the International System of Units used two specific wave counts from an emission spectrum of cesium-133 to co-define the second and the meter. Since then, cesium has been widely used in highly accurate atomic clocks. Since the 1990s, the largest application of the element has been as cesium formate for drilling fluids, but it has a range of applications in the production of electricity, in electronics, and in chemistry. The radioactive isotope cesium-137 has a half-life of about 30 years and is used in medical applications, industrial gauges, and hydrology. Nonradioactive cesium compounds are only mildly toxic, but the pure metal's tendency to react explosively with water means that cesium is considered a hazardous material, and the radioisotopes present a significant health and ecological hazard in the environment. Characteristics Physical properties Cesium is the softest element it has a hardness of 0.2 moss. It is a very ductile, pale metal, which darkens in the presence of trace amounts of oxygen. When in the presence of mineral oil where it is best kept during transport, it loses its metallic luster and takes on a duller, gray appearance. It has a melting point of 28.5 degrees Celsius .3 degrees Fahrenheit, making it one of the few elemental metals that are liquid near room temperature. Mercury is the only elemental metal with a known melting point lower than cesium. In addition, the metal has a rather low boiling point, 641 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit, the lowest of all metals other than mercury. Its compounds burn with a blue or violet color. Cesium forms alloys with the other alkali metals, gold, and mercury amalgams. At temperatures below 650 degrees Celsius (1202 degrees Fahrenheit), it does not alloy with cobalt, iron, molybdenum, nickel, platinum, tantalum, or tungsten. It forms well-defined intermetallic compounds with antimony, gallium, indium, and thorium, which are photosensitive. It mixes with all the other alkali metals except lithium. The alloy with a molar distribution of 41% cesium, 47% potassium, and 12% sodium has the lowest melting point of any known metal alloy at -78 degrees Celsius (-108 degrees Fahrenheit). A few amalgams have been studied. CSHG2 is black with a purple metallic luster, while CSHG is golden colored, also with a metallic luster. The golden color of cesium comes from the decreasing frequency of light required to excite electrons of the alkali metals as the group is descended. For lithium through rubidium, this frequency is in the ultraviolet, but for cesium, it enters the blue violet end of the spectrum. In other words, the plasmonic frequency of the alkali metals becomes lower from lithium to cesium. Thus cesium transmits and partially absorbs violet light preferentially while other colors having lower frequency are reflected, hence it appears yellowish. Chemical properties Cesium metal is highly reactive and very pyrophoric. It ignites spontaneously in air, and reacts explosively with water even at low temperatures, more so than the other alkali metals first group of the periodic table. 
It reacts with solid water at temperatures as low as minus 116 degrees Celsius, minus 177 degrees Fahrenheit. Because of this high reactivity, cesium metal is classified as a hazardous material. It is stored and shipped in dry, saturated hydrocarbons such as mineral oil. It can be handled only under inert gas, such as argon. However, a cesium water explosion is often less powerful than a sodium water explosion with a similar amount of sodium. This is because cesium explodes instantly upon contact with water, leaving little time for hydrogen to accumulate. Cesium can be stored in vacuum-sealed borosilicate glass ampules. In quantities of more than about 100 grams (3.5 ounces), cesium is shipped in hermetically sealed stainless steel containers. The chemistry of cesium is similar to that of other alkali metals, in particular rubidium, the element above cesium in the periodic table. As expected for an alkali metal, the only common oxidation state is plus one. Some small differences arise from the fact that it has a higher atomic mass and is more electropositive than other non-radioactive alkali metals. Cesium is the most electropositive chemical element. The cesium ion is also larger and less hard than those of the lighter alkali metals. Compounds Most cesium compounds contain the element as the cation Cs, which binds ionically to a wide variety of anions. One noteworthy exception is the caseide anion Cs and others are the several suboxides see section on oxides below. Salts of Cs plus are usually colorless unless the anion itself is colored. Many of the simple salts are hygroscopic, but less so than the corresponding salts of lighter alkali metals. The phosphate, acetate, carbonate, halides, oxide, nitrate, and sulfate salts are water-soluble. Double salts are often less soluble, and the low solubility of cesium aluminium sulfate is exploited in refining seas from ores. The double salt with antimony such as CSSBCl4, bismuth, cadmium, copper, iron, and lead are also poorly soluble. Cesium hydroxide CSOH is hygroscopic and strongly basic. It rapidly etches the surface of semiconductors such as silicon. CSOH has been previously regarded by chemists as the strongest base", reflecting the relatively weak attraction between the large Cs plus ion and O-, it is indeed the strongest Arrhenius base, but a number of compounds that do not dissolve in water, such as N-butylithium and sodium amide, are more basic. A stoichiometric mixture of cesium and gold will react to form yellow cesium oride upon heating. The oride anion here behaves as a pseudohalogen. The compound reacts violently with water, yielding cesium hydroxide, metallic gold, and hydrogen gas. In liquid ammonia, it can be reacted with a cesium specific ion exchange resin to produce tetramethylammonium oride. The analogous platinum compound, red cesium platinide, contains the platinide ion that behaves as a pseudocalcogen. Complexes like all metal cations, Cs plus forms complexes with Lewis bases in solution. Because of its large size, Cs plus usually adopts coordination numbers greater than 6, the number typical for the smaller alkali metal cations. This difference is apparent in the 8 coordination of cesium chloride. This high coordination number and softness tendency to form covalent bonds are properties exploited in separating Cs plus from other cations in the remediation of nuclear wastes, where 137 Cs plus must be separated from large amounts of nonradioactive K plus. Halides Cesium fluoride is a hygroscopic white solid that is widely used in organofluorine chemistry as a source of fluoride anions. Cesium fluoride has the halite structure, which means that the Cs plus and F minus pack in a cubic closest packed array is DU Na plus and Cl minus in sodium chloride. Notably, cesium and fluorine have the lowest and highest electronegativities, respectively, among all the known elements. Cesium chloride, cesium chloride crystallizes in the simple cubic crystal system. Also called the cesium chloride structure. This structural motif is composed of a primitive cubic lattice with a two atom basis, each with an eightfold coordination. The chloride atoms lie upon the lattice points at the edges of the cube, while the cesium atoms lie in the holes in the center of the cubes. 
This structure is shared with cesium bromide and CSI, and many other compounds that do not contain Cs. In contrast, most other alkaline halides have the sodium chloride, sodium chloride structure. The cesium chloride structure is preferred because Cs plus has an ionic radius of 174 pm and Cl-181 pm. Oxides More so than the other alkali metals, cesium forms numerous binary compounds with oxygen. When cesium burns in air, the superoxide cesium oxide is the main product. The normal cesium oxide, cesium oxide forms yellow-orange hexagonal crystals, and is the only oxide of the anti-cadmium chloride type. It vaporizes at 250 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit, and decomposes to cesium metal and the peroxide cesium oxide at temperatures above 400 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. In addition to the superoxide and the ozonide cesium oxide, several brightly colored suboxides have also been studied. These include cesium oxide, cesium oxide, cesium oxide, cesium oxide, dark green, CSO, cesium oxide, as well as cesium oxide. The latter may be heated in a vacuum to generate cesium oxide. Binary compounds with sulfur, selenium, and tellurium also exist. Isotopes Cesium has 39 known isotopes, ranging in mass number i.e. number of nucleons in the nucleus from 112 to 151. Several of these are synthesized from lighter elements by the slow neutron capture process, S process inside old stars and by the R process in supernova explosions. The only stable cesium isotope is 133 Cs, with 78 neutrons. Although it has a large nuclear spin nuclear magnetic resonance studies can use this isotope at a resonating frequency of 11.7 MHz. The radioactive 135Cs has a very long half-life of about 2.3 million years, longest of all radioactive isotopes of cesium. 137Cs and 134Cs have half-lives of 30 and 2 years, respectively. 137Cs decomposes to a short-lived 137Mba by beta decay, and then to nonradioactive barium, while 134Cs transforms into 134Ba directly. The isotopes with mass numbers of 129, 131, 132 and 136, have half-lives between a day and two weeks, while most of the other isotopes have half-lives from a few seconds to fractions of a second. At least 21 metastable nuclear isomers exist. Other than 134 MCs with a half-life of just under 3 hours, all are very unstable and decay with half-lives of a few minutes or less. The isotope 135Cs is one of the long-lived fission products of uranium produced in nuclear reactors. However, this fission product yield is reduced in most reactors because the predecessor, 135Z, is a potent neutron poison and frequently transmutes to stable 136Z before it can decay to 135Cs. The beta decay from 137Cs to 137Mba is a strong emission of gamma radiation. 137Cs and 90 senior are the principal medium-lived products of nuclear fission, and the prime sources of radioactivity from spent nuclear fuel after several years of cooling, lasting several hundred years. Those two isotopes are the largest source of residual radioactivity in the area of the Chernobyl disaster. Because of the low capture rate, disposing of 137Cs through neutron capture is not feasible and the only current solution is allowed to decay over time. Almost all cesium produced from nuclear fission comes from the beta decay of originally more neutron rich fission products, passing through various isotopes of iodine and xenon. Because iodine and xenon are volatile and can diffuse through nuclear fuel or air, radioactive cesium is often created far from the original site of fission. With nuclear weapons testing in the 1950s through the 1980s, 137Cs was released into the atmosphere and returned to the surface of the Earth as a component of radioactive fallout. It is a ready marker of the movement of soil and sediment from those times. Occurrence Cesium is a relatively rare element estimated to average three parts per million in the Earth's crust. It is the 45th most abundant element and the 36th among the metals. 
Nevertheless, it is more abundant than such elements as antimony, cadmium, tin, and tungsten, and two orders of magnitude more abundant than mercury and silver. It is 3.3% as abundant as rubidium, with which it is closely associated, chemically, due to its large ionic radius. Cesium is one of the incompatible elements. During magma crystallization, cesium is concentrated in the liquid phase and crystallizes last. Therefore, the largest deposits of cesium are zone pegmatite ore bodies formed by this enrichment process. Because cesium does not substitute for potassium as readily as rubidium, the alkali evaporite mineral silvite and carnalite may contain only 0.002% cesium. Consequently, cesium is found in few minerals. Percentage amounts of cesium may be found in beryl B3 aluminium metasilicate and avogadrite K, Cs, BF4, up to 15 WT% cesium oxide in the closely related mineral pizzotat Cs B2 Li aluminium silicide O18, up to 8.4 WT% cesium oxide in the rare mineral londonite Cs, K, Al4 B4 B, B12028, and less in the more widespread Rhodazite. The only economically important ore for cesium is pellucite seas aluminium silicide O6, which is found in a few places around the world in zone pegmatites, associated with the more commercially important lithium minerals, lipidolite and petalite. Within the pegmatites, the large grain size and the strong separation of the minerals results in high-grade ore for mining, one of the world. S most significant and richest sources of cesium is the Tanko mine at Burnick Lake in Manitoba, Canada, estimated to contain 350,000 metric tons of pellucite ore, representing more than two-thirds of the world's reserve base. Although the stoichiometric content of cesium in pellucite is 42.6%, pure pellucite samples from this deposit contain only about 34% cesium, while the average content is 24 WT percent. Commercial pellucite contains more than 19% cesium. The Bakita pegmatite deposit in Zimbabwe is mined for its petalite, but it also contains a significant amount of pellucite. Another notable source of pellucite is in the Karabib Desert, Namibia. At the present rate of world mine production of 5 to 10 metric tons per year, reserves will last for thousands of years. Production Mining and refining pellucite ore is a selective process and is conducted on a smaller scale than for most other metals. The ore is crushed, hand sorted, but not usually concentrated, and then ground. Cesium is then extracted from pellucite primarily by three methods acid digestion, alkaline decomposition, and direct reduction. In the acid digestion, the silicate pellucite rock is dissolved with strong acids, such as hydrochloric, HCl, sulfuric, H2SO4, hydrobromic HBR, or hydrofluoric HF acids. With hydrochloric acid, a mixture of soluble chlorides is produced, and the insoluble chloride double salts of cesium are precipitated as cesium antimony chloride, Cs4 antimony 7 chloride, cesium iodine chloride, Cs2 ICL, or cesium hexachlorosorate, Cs2 CECL6. After separation, the pure precipitated double salt is decomposed, and pure cesium chloride is precipitated by evaporating the water. The sulfuric acid method yields the insoluble double salt directly as cesium alum SO4 2H2O. The aluminium sulfate component is converted to insoluble aluminium oxide by roasting the alum with carbon, and the resulting product is leached with water to yield a cesium sulfate solution. Roasting pellucite with calcium carbonate and calcium chloride yields insoluble calcium silicates and soluble cesium chloride. Leaching with water or dilute ammonia NH4OH yields a dilute chloride, cesium chloride solution. This solution can be evaporated to produce cesium chloride or transformed into cesium alum or cesium carbonate. Though not commercially feasible, the ore can be directly reduced with potassium, sodium, or calcium in vacuum can produce cesium metal directly. Most of the mined cesium as salts is directly converted into cesium formate for applications such as oil drilling. 
To supply the developing market, Cabot Corporation built a production plant in 1997 at the Tanko Mine near Burnick Lake in Manitoba, with a capacity of 12,000 barrels cubic meters per year of cesium formate solution. The primary smaller scale commercial compounds of cesium are cesium chloride and nitrate. Alternatively, cesium metal may be obtained from the purified compounds derived from the ore. Cesium chloride and the other cesium halides can be reduced at 700 to 800 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit with calcium or barium, and cesium metal distilled from the result. In the same way, the aluminate, carbonate, or hydroxide may be reduced by magnesium. The metal can also be isolated by electrolysis of fused cesium cyanide Exceptionally pure and gas-free cesium can be produced by 390 degrees Celsius (734 degrees Fahrenheit) thermal decomposition of cesium azide cesium nitride, which can be produced from aqueous cesium sulfate and barium azide. In vacuum applications, cesium dichromate can be reacted with zirconium to produce pure cesium metal without other gaseous products. Cesium dichromate plus 2 Zr2 Cs plus 2 zirconium oxide plus Cr2O3 The price of 99.8% pure cesium metal basis in 2009 was about $10 per gram $280 per ounce, but the compounds are significantly cheaper. History In 1860, Robert Bunsen and Gustav Kirchhoff discovered cesium in the mineral water from Durkheim, Germany. Because of the bright blue lines in the emission spectrum, they derived the name from the Latin word cesius, meaning sky blue. Cesium was the first element to be discovered with a spectroscope, which had been invented by Bunsen and Kirchhoff only a year previously, to obtain a pure sample of cesium, 44,000 litres 12,000 US gal of mineral water had to be evaporated to yield 240 kilograms 530 pounds of concentrated salt solution. The alkaline earth metals were precipitated either as sulfates or oxalates, leaving the alkali metal in the solution. After conversion to the nitrates and extraction with ethanol, a sodium-free mixture was obtained. From this mixture, the lithium was precipitated by ammonium carbonate. Potassium, rubidium, and cesium form insoluble salts with chloroplatinic acid, but these salts show a slight difference in solubility in hot water, and the less soluble cesium and rubidium hexachloroplatinate were obtained by fractional crystallization. After reduction of the hexachloroplatinate with hydrogen, cesium and rubidium were separated by the difference in solubility of their carbonates in alcohol. The process yielded 9.2 grams (0.32 ounces) of rubidium chloride and 7.3 grams (0.26 ounces) of cesium chloride from the initial 44,000 liters of mineral water. From the cesium chloride, the two scientists estimated the atomic weight of the new element at 123.35, compared to the currently accepted one of 132.9. They tried to generate elemental cesium by electrolysis of molten cesium chloride, but instead of a metal, they obtained a blue homogeneous substance which, "...neither under the naked eye nor under the microscope showed the slightest trace of metallic substance." As a result, they assigned it as a subchloride, cesium chloride. In reality, the product was probably a colloidal mixture of the metal and cesium chloride. The electrolysis of the aqueous solution of chloride with a mercury cathode produced a cesium amalgam which readily decomposed under the aqueous conditions. The pure metal was eventually isolated by the German chemist Karl Setterberg while working on his doctorate with Kekuli and Bunsen. In 1882, he produced cesium metal by electrolyzing cesium cyanide, avoiding the problems with the chloride. Historically, the most important use for cesium has been in research and development, primarily in chemical and electrical fields. Very few applications existed for cesium until the 1920s, when it came into use in radio vacuum tubes, where it had two functions, as a getter, it removed excess oxygen after manufacture, and as a coating on the heated cathode, it increased the electrical conductivity. Cesium was not recognized as a high-performance industrial metal until the 1950s. Applications for nonradioactive cesium included photoelectric cells, photomultiplier tubes, optical components of infrared spectrophotometers, catalysts for several organic reactions, crystals for scintillation counters, and in magnetohydrodynamic power generators. 
Cesium also was, and still is, used as a source of positive ions in secondary ion mass spectrometry Sims. Since 1967, the International System of Measurements has based the primary unit of time, the second, on the properties of cesium. The International System of Units SI defines the second as the duration of 9192631770 cycles at the microwave frequency of the spectral line corresponding to the transition between two hyperfine energy levels of the ground state of cesium-133. The 13th General Conference on Weights and Measures of 1967 defined a second as the duration of 9192631770 cycles of microwave light absorbed or emitted by the hyperfine transition of cesium-133 atoms in their ground state undisturbed by external fields." Applications Petroleum exploration the largest present-day use of nonradioactive cesium is in cesium formate drilling fluids for the extractive oil industry. Aqueous solutions of cesium formate made by reacting cesium hydroxide with formic acid were developed in the mid-1990s for use as oil well drilling and completion fluids. The function of a drilling fluid is to lubricate drill bits, to bring rock cuttings to the surface, and to maintain pressure on the formation during drilling of the well. Completion fluids assist the emplacement of control hardware after drilling but prior to production by maintaining the pressure, the high density of the cesium formate brine up to 2.3 grams per cc, or 19.2 pounds per gallon, coupled with the relatively benign nature of most cesium compounds, reduces the requirement for toxic high-density suspended solids in the drilling fluid. A significant technological, engineering and environmental advantage. Unlike the components of many other heavy liquids, cesium formate is relatively environment friendly. Cesium formate brine can be blended with potassium and sodium formates to decrease the density of the fluids to that of water, 1.0 grams per cc or 8.3 pounds per gallon. Furthermore, it is biodegradable and may be recycled, which is important in view of its high cost, about $4000 per barrel in 2001. Alkali formates are safe to handle and do not damage the producing formation or downal metals as corrosive alternative. High density brines such as zinc bromide zinc bromide solutions sometimes do. They also require less cleanup and reduce disposal costs. Atomic clocks. Cesium-based atomic clocks use the electromagnetic transitions in the hyperfine structure of cesium 133 atoms as a reference point. The first accurate cesium clock was built by Lewis Essen in 1955 at the National Physical Laboratory in the UK. Cesium clocks have improved over the past half century and are regarded as the most accurate realization of a unit that mankind has yet achieved. These clocks measure frequency with an error of 2 to 3 parts in 1014, which corresponding to an accuracy of 2 nanoseconds per day or 1 second in 1.4 million years. The latest versions are more accurate than one part in 1015, about one second in 20 million years. The cesium standard is the primary standard for standards compliant time and frequency measurements. Cesium clocks regulate the timing of cell phone networks and the Internet. SI units it is currently 2018 being proposed by the International Committee for Weights and Measures (CIPM) that the second symbol S, the SI unit of time, be defined using the fixed numerical value of the cesium frequency DNCs, the unperturbed ground state hyperfine transition frequency of the cesium-133 atom. Electric power and electronics. Cesium vapor thermionic generators are low power devices that convert heat energy to electrical energy. In the two electrode vacuum tube converter, cesium neutralizes the space charge near the cathode and enhances the current flow. Cesium is also important for its photoemissive properties, converting light to electron flow. It is used in photoelectric cells because cesium based cathodes, such as the intermetallic compound K2 cesium antimonide, have a low threshold voltage for emission of electrons. 
The range of photoemissive devices using cesium include optical character recognition devices, photomultiplier tubes, and video camera tubes. Nevertheless, germanium, rubidium, selenium, silicon, tellurium, and several other elements can be substituted for cesium in photosensitive materials, cesium iodide bromide, cesium bromide and cesium fluoride crystals are employed for scintillators in scintillation counters widely used in mineral exploration and particle physics research to detect gamma and X-ray radiation. Being a heavy element, cesium provides good stopping power with better detection. Cesium compounds may provide a faster response CSF and be less hygroscopic CSI. Cesium vapor is used in many common magnetometers. The element is used as an internal standard in spectrophotometry. Like other alkali metals, cesium has a great affinity for oxygen and is used as a «getter» in vacuum tubes. Other uses of the metal include high-energy lasers, vapor glow lamps, and vapor rectifiers. Centrifugation fluids The high density of the cesium ion makes solutions of cesium chloride, cesium sulfate, and cesium trifluoroacetate O2CCF3 useful in molecular biology for density gradient ultracentrifugation. This technology is used primarily in the isolation of viral particles, subcellular organelles and fractions, and nucleic acids from biological samples. Chemical and medical use Relatively few chemical applications use cesium. Doping with cesium compounds enhances the effectiveness of several metal ion catalysts for chemical synthesis, such as acrylic acid, anthraquinone, ethylene oxide, methanol, phthalic anhydride, styrene, methyl methacrylate monomers, and various olefins. It is also used in the catalytic conversion of sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide in the production of sulfuric acid. Cesium fluoride enjoys a niche use in organic chemistry as a base and as an anhydrous source of fluoride ion. Cesium salts sometimes replace potassium or sodium salts in organic synthesis, such as cyclization, esterification, and polymerization. Cesium has also been used in thermoluminescent radiation dosimetry (TLD). When exposed to radiation, it acquires crystal defects that, when heated, revert with emission of light proportionate to the received dose. Thus, measuring the light pulse with a photomultiplier tube can allow the accumulated radiation dose to be quantified. Nuclear and isotope applications. Cesium-137 is a radioisotope commonly used as a gamma emitter in industrial applications. Its advantages include a half-life of roughly 30 years, its availability from the nuclear fuel cycle, and having 137 Ba as a stable end product. The high water solubility is a disadvantage which makes it incompatible with large pool irradiators for food and medical supplies. It has been used in agriculture, cancer treatment, and the sterilization of food, sewage sludge, and surgical equipment. Radioactive isotopes of cesium in radiation devices were used in the medical field to treat certain types of cancer, but emergence of better alternatives and the use of water-soluble cesium chloride in the sources, which could create wide-ranging contamination, gradually put some of these cesium sources out of use. Cesium-137 has been employed in a variety of industrial measurement gauges, including moisture, density, leveling, and thickness gauges. It has also been used in well logging devices for measuring the electron density of the rock formations, which is analogous to the bulk density of the formations. Cesium-137 has been used in hydrologic studies analogous to those with tritium. As a daughter product of fission bomb testing from the 1950s through the mid 1980s, cesium 137 was released into the atmosphere, where it was absorbed readily into solution. Known year to year variation within that period allows correlation with soil and sediment layers. Cesium 134, and to a lesser extent cesium 135, have also been used in hydrology to measure the cesium output by the nuclear power industry. While they are less prevalent than either cesium-133 or cesium-137, these bellwether isotopes are produced solely from anthropogenic sources. Other uses Cesium and mercury were used as a propellant in early ion engines designed for spacecraft propulsion on very long interplanetary or extraplanetary missions. The fuel was ionized by contact with a charged tungsten electrode. 
but corrosion by cesium on spacecraft components has pushed development in the direction of inert gas propellants, such as xenon, which are easier to handle in ground-based tests and do less potential damage to the spacecraft. Xenon was used in the experimental spacecraft Deep Space One launched in 1998. Nevertheless, field emission electric propulsion thrusters that accelerate liquid metal ions such as cesium have been built. Cesium nitrate is used as an oxidizer and pyrotechnic colorant to burn silicon in infrared flares, such as the Lu 19 flare, because it emits much of its light in the near infrared spectrum. Cesium is used to reduce the radar signature of exhaust plumes in the SR 71 Blackbird military aircraft. Cesium and rubidium have been added as a carbonate to glass because they reduce electrical conductivity and improve stability and durability of fiber optics and night vision devices. Cesium fluoride or cesium aluminium fluoride are used in fluxes formulated for brazing aluminium alloys that contain magnesium. Magnetohydrodynamic (MHD) power generating systems were researched but failed to gain widespread acceptance. Cesium metal has also been considered as the working fluid in high temperature Rankine cycle turboelectric generators. Cesium salts have been evaluated as anti shock reagents following the administration of arsenical drugs. Because of their effect on heart rhythms, however, they are less likely to be used than potassium or rubidium salts. They have also been used to treat epilepsy. Cesium 133 can be laser cooled and used to probe fundamental and technological problems in quantum physics. It has a particularly convenient Feshbach spectrum to enable studies of ultracold atoms requiring tunable interactions. Health and safety hazards Nonradioactive cesium compounds are only mildly toxic and nonradioactive cesium is not a significant environmental hazard. Because biochemical processes can confuse and substitute cesium with potassium, excess cesium can lead to hypokalemia, arrhythmia, and acute cardiac arrest. But such amounts would not ordinarily be encountered in natural sources. The median lethal dose (LD50) for cesium chloride in mice is 2.3 grams per kilogram, which is comparable to the LD50 values of potassium chloride and sodium chloride. The principal use of nonradioactive cesium, as cesium formate in petroleum drilling fluids because it is much less toxic than alternatives, though it is more costly. Cesium metal is one of the most reactive elements and is highly explosive in the presence of water. The hydrogen gas produced by the reaction is heated by the thermal energy released at the same time, causing ignition and a violent explosion. This can occur with other alkali metals, but cesium is so potent that this explosive reaction can be triggered even by cold water. It is highly pyrophoric. The autoignition temperature of cesium is minus 116 degrees Celsius, and it ignites explosively in air to form cesium hydroxide and various oxides. Cesium hydroxide is a very strong base, and will rapidly corrode glass. The isotopes 134 and 137 are present in the biosphere in small amounts from human activities, differing by location. Radiocesium does not accumulate in the body as readily as other fission products, such as radioiodine and radiostrontium. About 10% of absorbed radiocesium washes out of the body relatively quickly in sweat and urine. The remaining 90% has a biological half-life between 50 and 150 days. Radiocesium follows potassium and tends to accumulate in plant tissues, including fruits and vegetables. Plants vary widely in the absorption of cesium, sometimes displaying great resistance to it. It is also well documented that mushrooms from contaminated forests accumulate radiocesium in the fungal sporocarps. Accumulation of cesium-137 in lakes has been a great concern after the Chernobyl disaster. Experiments with dogs showed that a single dose of 3.8 millicuries 140 megabecquerels, 4.1 micrograms of cesium-137 per kilogram is lethal within three weeks, smaller amounts may cause infertility and cancer. The International Atomic Energy Agency and other sources have warned that radioactive materials, such as cesium-137, could be used in radiological dispersion devices, or, "...dirty bombs". See also Goyanya accident, a major radioactive contamination incident in 1987 involving cesium-137. Kramatorsk radiological accident, another CES-137 incident between 1980–1989. to 
A Saranox accident, a cesium-137 contamination accident in 1998. Notes References External links Cesium or cesium at the periodic table of videos University of Nottingham View the reaction of cesium most reactive metal in the periodic table with fluorine most reactive non-metal courtesy of the Royal Institution Andre Yu Rogachev Mao Sheng Miao Gabriel Marino et al Molecular cesium fluoride and cesium fluoride plus Angawant Chemi 2015 127 28.doi 10.1002 ang 201,500,402